Des, just can you just talk about how that game was? It was so crazy. You guys looked like you were, you know, kind of down for the count, and then you come back and you just kind of take us through. No, the no, game no, from no, your no, never, never down for ne the count. Never, okay. Yeah, n n when you see the Atlanta Falcons out there, we'll never be down for the count. Uh, we're gonna fight until that clock hits zero. So, you know, that's what I'm proud of this team and everyone on this team uh, for not giving up, not you know, and just keep going out there and just fight until that clock hits zero. Um, you know, obviously, when you get in that situation, we were down. 10, I think, or 11, 12. whatever, 12. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, it's not about scurrying and, you know, panic. It's about, okay, take a deep breath and then just go play the next play. Uh, Coach Smith was talking about just one of the things that they liked about you even coming out of college was, you know, the crucial downs, the, the late game situations. Uh, what do you, what is it? How, how do you perform so well in those situations just from your perspective? Yeah, I think, you know, like, like we said last week, you know, you talked about, you know, how do receivers handle not getting the ball? Um, and I told you guys, you know, the reason I play quarterback is because I have the ball in my hands, you know, every single play. Um, so for me, you know, when those big time situations come up, whatever it may be, um, we know that, you know, if the ball does end up in my hands, I got to go make a play. Um, and so I've been in those situations before, obviously, college in here. Um, and, you know, it's something that, like I said, it's not something that you panic over. It's something that, hey, this is the next play, go execute it. Des, walk us through that, that uh, crucial fourth down call right before the two-minute warning from your perspective. You, you have the scramble on third, doesn't quite get it, and then you've got the fourth. What's, what's going through your head as you're working that, that uh, play? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, trying to get the first down there. Uh, we had a run call call with a little RPO, so it could have gone either way. Um, and squeezed, I pulled it. He read out of it. Um, I just tried to go back, try to make a play, get back to the first down yard marker. Obviously, came up a little bit short. Um, you know, going back, I would obviously try to get six more inches to that play, when Arthur was asked about it, he was using words like, we had a conviction about and a belief in the guys that we had to go out and make that play, whether it was Jean, whether it was you or Tyler, whoever, there was a conviction there. What does that say to the level of responsibility that this coaching staff puts on you guys in those situational moments? Yeah, it's obviously trust. Um, trust and seeing that throughout the week that we put in the work, that we've executed that play over and over and over again, that we know when we come out here on Sundays that when he calls it, we're going to execute it to its fullest. Um, so for me, you know, that's just trust and belief in all 11 guys out there on the field that they're going to do their job and their job only. My expert analysis would be that the passing game looked very hard early on and then a lot easier in the fourth quarter. Can you tell me if that's accurate? And if so, what changed? Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's accurate. I would just say, you know, it's all about getting into the rhythm, getting into a flow. Uh, when we start being able to move the ball, getting those first first downs off the drives, getting them going, uh, that's obviously when it, it starts to pick up. You start to see, you know, a little more tempo, a little more juice to the guys. And, you know, things open up, obviously. You know, we do a lot of play action. Uh, so the backers pull out really quick. You know, the DBs might be more uh, afraid to go for the run um, and give up, you know, the pass above them or whatever it may be. Um, and, and so, yeah. Is it difficult to be patient in the moments when that rhythm when that rhythm seems to take so long to get in gear? Yeah, you know, sometimes it is. Sometimes it is hard to be patient. Uh, you know, you're just trying to look for a play. You're look uh, whether it's a run play screen, whatever it may be. You're just trying to look for that one thing to get you going, that one thing to get that momentum going. So sometimes, yeah, it is hard to be patient in those moments. You want to try to force a ball. You want to try to make a play. Um, but it's actually in those moments where you got to kind of take a step back and just say, like I said before. Hey, just play the play as it is, uh, no matter what the down and distance, and just go execute it. What, what can you say about Bijan Robinson's performance, especially uh, towards the end? He said he took a helmet to the chest and, like, knocked the wing down of him, but he still was able to come back in and, and get yards for you guys on boot. Yeah, he's a competitor. You know, he, like I said, he's a competitor, but he's also humble. Um, you know, he's going to go out there and obviously put his head down and go to work every single day in which he has, um, and then shows up on Sunday. Um, and so for us, you know, he's a huge attribute to our offense. Um, and, you know, he, he does nothing but good things for us. After you threw your first interception, um, Bijan said he looked at you. He said he always looks to see the demeanor. And you were calm still, if maybe even more motivated. So where does that come from, where it didn't bother you, it didn't bring you down, and you remained focused? That's just kind of how my whole career has been. You know, never get too high, never get too low. Um, you know, we always talk about in our quarterback meeting room, you know, the energy feeds off us. Um, if we're down, everyone's going to be down. Um, if we're up, everyone's going to be up. So obviously, you know, for me, I try to remain neutral all, throughout that entire game. Um, I felt like I did my best job of just staying calm. Um, and like I said, just playing each play as it comes. As you mentioned rhythm, you talked about that throughout the week. You talked about it last Sunday. Why has that rhythm been so hard for you all to figure out in the first half? Uh, you know, it's just how football goes. It's how it goes. Sometimes they're going to come in. Sometimes they're going to punch you in the mouth. 
Um, I'm not saying that's what happened, but I'm just saying, you know, you can't ever dictate what the defense is going to do. Um, and sometimes they come out and maybe have a better scheme, a better play call, whatever it may be. Um, and we just have to go out and figure out how the next time we come back on the field, how to execute it better. Is, is it something in your game, though? Because even if you go back to last year, it seemed like that was always kind of a thing. It was early on. It took a minute for you to get. Is that just how you are in some ways sometimes? That's for you to say, not me. I'm, well, I'm asking. Yeah, you've known you longer than I've known you. <laughs> like, <laughs> No, you know, for me, um, obviously, try to get in the flow of game. Obviously, snap one, you obviously want to be in the flow. Um, yeah, I would say sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit longer to get going. Uh, that's one thing, you know, talking this offseason that we worked on was, you know, how can we be able to get out there and from play one, you know, be in that rhythm, be in that flow. Um, so that's one thing that obviously we'll continue to work on. Uh, like I said, it's game two of a 17-game season, you know, regular season. So uh, we'll just keep continuing to work and keep getting better. When do you think you got the trust of these guys? When? Yeah. Uh, you know, shoot, I'd like to say hopefully I got that trust, you know, um, you know, once I stepped in there last year. You know, if I didn't have the trust of those guys last year, then obviously we're in the wrong position. I put myself in the wrong position if I didn't have their trust. Um, so if you look back, you know, that would have all been on me. Um, if you said that, if you went and asked these guys if they didn't have my trust, that probably would have started from the day I walked in. You know, I did something wrong or wasn't doing what I was supposed to be or, you know, didn't go to my job 100%. Um, but like I said, ever since I've stepped foot on, on this organization, on this campus, you know, I've wanted nothing but the best. Um, I've wanted to put in, you know, 100% effort and have full trust and respect of every single one of these guys on the team. Uh, by your volume and demeanor, you seem to be very excited right now. And uh, I just wondered what a, a fourth quarter like this does for in the development of a young quarterback. Yeah, you know, it's huge and it's crucial. Like I said, even throughout that entire fourth quarter, um, I was just trying to stay calm, stay patient, um, and just let it come to me, you know, just, just let the play play itself. Um, but, you know, for not only myself, but for an offense, that was huge right there. Um, that was huge for, obviously, us to go out. You know, it's tough right there getting those two, um, you know, stops right there where it's third and one, fourth and one. Um, and, you know, we aren't able to go for it. Obviously, we played the situation as a game. Um, huge for Q to come in, step in after missing one early. Um, to have the trust, obviously, that we have in him. But to go out there and knock down those kicks, that's huge for us. And you probably didn't think you'd go through your whole career without throwing an interception. So I don't uh, know how you process that first one. Yeah, no, obviously you got hit on it, but uh, it's just, you know, how you get back, how you bounce back from it. Um, so I felt like, you know, we did a great job coming back out there, you know, not worrying about what happened in the last drive and just keep going on the next. And this question might have been asked as I was in the locker room, but uh -huh. um, going back to that slow start, you're down 24-12, but your defense keeps getting three and outs, putting you in position to win this game. How important is it to know that you can have the confidence that your defense will you know, kind of hang in there until you guys can get back in like you did today. Yeah, that's huge for us. Um, like I said last week, though, that's something that we can't count on every single week. Um, you know, that's something that we have to go out there and we have to set the tempo as an offense. Um, so, you know, when we get back, you know, we'll have talks of, you know, hey, we got to pick it up. You know, we got to do better. We have to lead this team um, just so that, you know, in that one case that, you know, the, the one Sunday where a defense, you know, whether it doesn't show up or they have a few plays go wrong here and there, we got to be the ones to go out there and set the tone and set the tempo early. For you personally, when did you feel like the energy or the mo mo momentum switched for you guys? Like, what changed for you? A lot of the guys said, like, kind of in the fourth quarter. Was there a specific play or drive for you that you felt like you Yeah, you know, I would go back to the to we talk about as a team. We talk about that middle eight. Um, you know, we, we deferred off the coin toss to get the ball in the second half. We got the ball right there at the end of the first half. We knew we had to put points up on the board. Um, so for us, when we were to go down there and move the ball, uh, be able to get points on the board, obviously that was huge for us And talking about that middle eight. Des, obviously the win is the most important thing, and I know you're. I know there's some stuff you want. To, you guys want to work on red zone things like that, but just kind of getting in the weeds here a little bit. Over 200 yards passing, over 200 yards rushing, 36 minutes time of possession. I'd imagine that's uh, as an offense, you guys are pretty pleased with those numbers, aren't you? Kind of as a template of, of what Arthur wants to do offensively each week. Yeah, like you said, you know, there's a couple of passes I wish I could have back. I'm sure there's a couple of runs we wish we could have back, um, but you know, it's not a perfect game. Um, but I feel like, obviously, we did enough, obviously, to go out there and get the win, as we did. Um, but there's, there's obviously, that's not, that's not the best Atlanta Falcons offense you've seen right there. Um, and, and we know that we can do way better than that. Um, so it's going to be up to us to, you know, come in here on tomorrow, uh, watch the film, get better, and go back to work for uh, Detroit next week. Yeah, it does. Just to clarify something, middle eight means? Middle eight meaning last half of the last four minutes of the first half, first four minutes of the second half. Okay. Oh, what, is that been something that's always been in your head your whole career, or is that something that you picked up here? Or? No, that, I mean, that's obviously something that a lot of teams throughout football talk about. 
um, is that middle eight. Um, especially like we said, we want to double up that. So we get the ball right there at the end with the last four minutes in the first half. Um, we want to take that ball, get points. When we say double up, we get the ball back in the start of the second half, come back and get points up on the board. That's huge for momentum. That's huge for offense, defense, and everyone. It's me. Des, you had, you had a, several key pickups with your legs today, and you didn't really run that much against Carolina the week prior. I, is that something about the this rhythm that we've been talking about uh, that, that that can help you and even open up some things in the passing game? Yeah, 100%. That opens up things in the passing game and run game. Obviously, you know, going in the defense would have to then account for my legs, and which I'm sure they do. Um, you know, the scramble, the, the, the called um, RPOs, whatever it may be, um, you know, the defense has to adjust for that. Uh, but, you know, when we get out there and make scrambles, it obviously opens up the passing games, um, kind of gets people out of their spots. So, you know, as many times as I can use my leg without it hurting the team, you know, I'm going to try to do. Come on, D. Yeah. Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait. She's. You loud, you good. Okay. All right. Once, once y'all right. got, when you got rolling there uh, late, uh, the four straight, uh, you know, Field goal, touchdown, field goal, field goal. Uh, what were some of the keys for the, you know, maybe uh, that was, you know, throughout that, that was working for you all offensively? Yeah, like we said, it was just get that first, first down. Once we got out there on the field, um, it's just about getting the ball going, getting the ball moving. So, you know, when it's easy, you can hand off a ball and it goes for eight, nine, ten yards. Plus, you know, that's huge for our momentum. And so just to get in that flow, just getting that first, first down, getting it going. You know, I think you go back to Mike, you talk about how do you start fast, um, it's about getting that first first down, getting the team moving, getting the flow moving. Um, and I think that's obviously what we did really well. And where are you at rhythm-wise? Um, you know, you talked about rhythm last week, and uh, you think you all took some more uh, steps in that direction today? I would definitely say it strides in the right direction. It's not 100% where we want to be at, but it definitely strides in the right direction. Desmond, I know you have to watch film and all of that, but what is it about this particular game that makes you feel like not just you, but the offense took a step forward today? Uh, like I said, you know, we was able to go out there and we was just able to keep it moving forward. Um, there were things that went wrong, there were things that went right, but at the end of the day, we were able to come back, lock back in, and keep it going. Um, you know, it's when those times and when those things do go wrong, how are we going to bounce back from it? How are we going to come back out on the field and keep the ball moving forward? How are we going to keep the defense sitting on the bench and us, you know, on the field holding the possession? Um, and so for us, I feel like we did a good job of that. Obviously, like I said, there are a couple of throws, a couple of runs we could have back, uh, but we're definitely moving in the right direction. Are you a guy who grabs a stat sheet at the end of the game to see what your numbers were just to ne never have? No, I was just told. He told me so. That was about the first first time I heard it. So, do you ever look at them during the week? Do you does it does it matter to you to judge your progress by looking at those you know sort of the counting stats? No, I wouldn't say that because I mean there's throwaways, there's batter balls. So you know you can't just go look at oh I was however many of however many and say oh this is how I played that game. I played terrible this game because I had this. Can't look at the QBR because it is what it is. Last week you know out of high QBR or whatever. This week don't know what it was. But you know it's two different weeks. Um, so for me, you know, it's just about going back, watching the film um, and grading myself on, you know, what I could have done better. You know, it's probably not one play in there where I'd say it's A+. Plus. Um, so there's always things that not only myself but everyone else can get better at. Do you literally grade yourself? I know the coaches give you a grade, but do you go through every one of your games and grade yourself? Yeah. What did you grade yourself last week? Last week was like a C+. Plus. Yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't all great last week. How many A's have you had in your life? Not very many. Not very many. And that's just who I am. That's just who I am as a person. Um, I think that, you know, there's always room for improvement. There's always steps that you can take to get better. Um, and, and for me, you know, obviously being complacent is one of the worst things that you can do in this league as a football player is just, you know, feel like you've made it or feel like you've worked hard enough to be where you're at. Um, for me, you know, I feel like I've always got to work harder. I always got to do one extra thing. I always got to be better um, to be able to, to keep taking those steps. So what would you grade yourself or is it too early right now? Today? This week? Yeah. Uh, without looking at the film. Probably another C. Okay. Why? Why? Because there were throws that I missed. Um, you know, reads that I could have done better, checks at the line of scrimmage. A couple times you talk about, when I talked about a couple weeks ago, getting in and out the huddle, um, the efficiency there, you would go back, you look at the game clock, Game clock's draining down on us, getting down three, two, one. Uh, that's on me getting out in and out the huddle, making sure we get all the calls right. So there are a lot of things that you guys don't see um, that you guys may think went right, 
uh, but actually went wrong. So that's where I'll go back and look at, and, and that's where I'll knock myself. And what, what can you say just about the fans and the crowd energy? It's the loudest I've heard it since I've been here. The fans have been amazing. These past two weeks, the whole city of Atlanta has showed up. Um, they've done a heck of a job. You know, when the defense is out there on the field being loud, when the offense is out there, we make a big play, you hear them. Uh, you hear everything that they do. So for us, it's huge to have that fan energy, to have the momentum. Um, and, you know, we just hope they show up every single week just like that. All right, so what would you need to do to get an A? For yourself. What would I need to do to get an A? Yeah, in you your probably eyes. go back. You probably go back to that stat sheet. Um, pretty, pretty close to perfection on that stat sheet. And then you go back and watch the film. You made every protection check right. Um, you made every can or check that we have in the run game, whatever it may be. Everything was 100%. Um, you went out of there healthy. Um, you won the game, most importantly. Um, and yeah. So, all right. You said you've given yourself a few. When was the last? Do you know the last one you gave yourself? The last A you gave yourself? No, nah, it's probably been a while. It's probably been a while. Like, like, are we talking high school while or Cincinnati while? Probably or? early Cincinnati while, maybe. But even then, I mean, there's still, like I said, it's got to be, to have an A plus, you got you to gotta be one of those, I mean, it's got to be everything goes right for you. Um, and so that's tough for this league. Obviously, we could control what we can control, and some things you can't control. Um, and, and so that's where... You know, you get automatically knocked in your so-called grading. I know last year was last year, and it's a different team, but these are the type of games you guys had so many games last year where it was come down to the wire and you guys just couldn't finish, just fell short. What does it say about this team that this year, first opportunity you guys have, you do it and you close the comeback? Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, you know, as a part of last season, uh, well, I think it was, whatever, 15 games we were in by one score, whatever it may have been. Um, and so to be able to come out here and obviously finish and finish on top, um, that's huge for all of us. And how good did it feel to, I don't know, just come out with this home crowd and, and get that win, get that comeback completed? Oh, it, it felt great, obviously, to come back and win this, obviously, with the home crowd behind our back. Um, you know, being in Mercedes-Benz, like I said, it's a different energy. It's a different atmosphere. Um, you know, you guys talk about the, my home win streak, whatever it may be. That's not built from just me. That's not built from, you know, just the guys on this from the coaches. That's built from the city. That's built from every single person that shows up in the Mercedes-Benz waving an Atlanta flag. And so, you know, we'll just try to keep that going, just to keep the energy going, keep the momentum going. I hope we're going to show up again. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you all. Have a safe drive. What was happening in the second half of this defense that was able to slow them down? You know, I think we uh, just started to click. You know, they're, you know, they, they had some you know, props then. They had some good calls. They had uh, some playmakers make some plays. And you know, that's the NFL. Like, it's never going to be perfect. You may get that shut out every now and then, but that, that's very rare, few and far between. So um, we were able to, you know, manage and, and hold up against what they did, not allow too many points. And then uh, when it came time, we made some corrections. You know, congrats to our staff. They, they did some awesome stuff on the sideline um, to get us, you know, to go out and make a couple adjustments. And uh, we were able to stop them. You know, when we needed those stops, we stopped them. And our office capitalized. You know, complimentary football. That's what we want to do. Two weeks in, what's it tell you about this team? No, what, fighters. Or is it too early? You know, we're fighters. Nah, you know, it's, it's you put in all the work, you know, off season, everything going up in training camp, all of that, and uh, to you know go out and be able to finish a game and execute like that at the end of a game, it shows you that you know there's so much fight in this team, and uh, there's still more to be learned about this team. There's still more growth to happen, and that is going to continue to be, you know, vital all the way through our season, uh, continue to grow week to week. But at the end of the day, right now where we're at, you know, we're fighters, and uh, we're going to go out and we're going to give you everything we got. And for two weeks in a row, it's been enough. So time to improve so that next time we got a little more juice in the tank, but we're good to go. In the, uh, in, in, in the, um, in the uh, fourth quarter, zero first downs, 11 total yards. Talk about defense wanting to close. Like, yeah. What do those numbers mean? After it means the world because, you know, there are, some, there are some things, you know, in that second, third quarter that really wish we could have gotten back. But at the end of the day, our offense, our special teams, and our defense all did enough to put us in a situation that when the fourth quarter came, we were still within striking range. And when the defense was able to go out there and get those three and outs, those four and outs, um, it, it was vital and it was complimentary football because our offense was at that point, they couldn't be stopped. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if both offense and defense are clicking at the right time and so is special teams, it's tough to beat you no matter how many points you're up. You know what I mean? So uh, it was awesome. And those stats are, you know, they uh, just pay, uh, pay tribute to how it felt out there. And to piggyback off that a little bit, it seemed like they had a lot of success early on, and then at the end, the crowd got into it, and something just oh. changed. What was it that changed? Um, you know, I got props to our, uh, our staff. They made some great adjustments on the sideline. Um, you know, you know, some of those earlier quarters, the 
they had, they had good, some good play calls and some good plays made by their players. Um, but then when it came fourth quarter, we had some good play calls and some good plays made by our, plays made by our playmakers. And then, uh, you know, you, you get to that crowd, and that crowd gets into it, that crowd gets excited. You know, our offense is able to go down and get points, get them back into the game. Uh, it makes defense a lot easier because it makes it really hard on the offense to operate. So uh, the crowd was awesome, our coaching staff was awesome, and, and playmakers made plays, so it was good. Bijan, first of all, what can you just say about this team win? Because I was talking with Katie, and he said everyone got a team ball from Coach today. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, first of all, you know, I just want to give honor to God. Um, you know, because we played for him and he got us out healthy and got us his win. Um, but to your question, you know, I think it was just huge because this was nothing but a team win. Um, no individual took part in this. You know, this was everybody that took part in, in what we just did today. Um, but I think it was a big win for us, you know, knowing that, you know, we worked hard and, and we were down in the game um, and understood that we had to fight back, you know, try to get two scores. Uh, but that's what we did. And the defense, you know, closed it out. Um, and, you know, us on offense, you know, we try to you know, close it out as well. So I think it was just a full team win for, for all of us and then Koo making those field goals. I mean, that was, that was just huge for, for this whole team. What did you feel the momentum shift in this game for you guys? What part, point in the second half did you feel it shift for you guys? Yeah, I think like midway the fourth quarter, uh, we started, you know, running the ball. We started, you know, bringing the bring the DBs up and then and then giving give some shots down downfield to the receivers and you know now they just started getting confused on what, what personnel was going to be out there you know what we were going to do if we were going to pass we were going to run it and then you know we just got, kept them on their toes and then that's when we just kept going downhill and you know trying to get as many yards as we can but you know in that fourth quarter you know you kind of felt them you know starting to back off um and, and you know, not not come as hard as they did in the first half. Fourth quarter, fourth and inches. What's going through your mind whenever you guys Arthur makes that play call? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like just get the first down. Like, yeah. don't worry about nothing else. Just get the first down so you can so we can end the game. Um, and like at first, it was going by fast. So I was like, I was like, okay, we we got to go. We got to get up there. And then Desmond just said, hike, gave me the ball, and then I. You know, just let let the guy given ability, you know, take over from there. But I think that was just a huge, a huge momentum change, and, and it helped us a lot. Obviously, win the game. Um, but you know, you just got to get the first down when you when you get called like that. Did, did Arthur tell you anything before that play? No. no, I mean, obviously they're just saying, you know, protect the ball, and you have to get a first down. Like so, like hearing that, I was like, all right, <laughs> you got to get a first down, we got like. Uh, but then when we got it, you know, all, all the teammates celebrated, and you know, we try to. You know, do some more stuff, and then obviously we got a field goal after that. Um, but that, that's what closed the game, and then the defense came out. But you know, when you when you get told to get the first down, you got to do everything you can to to do it for your team. Did you? Did you like I know that? you're a confident guy, but did you expect your first two games to go quite this well? This is a pretty uh, pretty dynamic start to it. Uh, you know, for for me, I think it's just like working hard during the week. Um, you know, I, I try not to look ahead over anything. I try to look at everything one game at a time and understand that you know opportunities come for you in every single game that you play you just got to prepare the right way and understand you know this is you know what you do for your, for your team for yourself for god uh, for me um but for me it's just you know taking it one day at a time one game at, one game at a time and then you know hopefully we we all do our jobs um at a high level and then we have great games like we do today drafting, back drafting a running back at number eight it. though is uh, looking pretty good right now <laughs> <laughs> hey, i mean you know that, that's just what, what people talk um but it's more like when you get when you get the right guy for your team, um, and then I mean that's that's all you can ask for. Going back to what Coach decided to let you guys go for it on fourth down, how important is that for confidence in the offense as opposed to letting the defense decide in those situations? Yeah, I mean it, it's huge, um, especially for for us. You know, we're we're a young group, but obviously you know we're we're very physical um, to the point of attack, and you know I got to give credit to the O line too. I mean those, those dudes right there, you know they they opened up so many holes <laughs> all day. Um, but even just following their blocks and, and trying to you know set set them up for for success on on the run game, um, you know I got to thank them for for everything on the offense. But you know I think that just having that confidence in us um, and knowing you know in practice you know we, we prepare for that situation and how it came up today, you know I think it was I think it was pretty cool to to see it really get executed. You what know, do you for say? The game. What do you say about Desmond Ritter's performance, especially after throwing his first interception? He was able to bounce back, and he showed off his wheels today too. Yeah, I mean I, he balled. He balled out today. Um, and, and after that interception, like you know I kind of look at demeanor of, of people, of players after stuff like that. And he went right to the sideline and he looked at everybody. And he was like, "But we're good." Like he he wasn't phased at all. You know he he kept his composure and the whole time, the whole game, like. 
nothing ever rattled him. Um, he, only, he only just get, kept getting more hype and hype. Uh, so seeing that from, from the quarterback uh, and seeing how much of, of a dog he is when, when it comes to those situations, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident in what we, what we can do this season you know, with him back there. And then you feeling quarter, physically, did, physically. It looked like you took a big hit or maybe like your knee. Or yeah, yeah. Mom, <laughs> I got the wind knocked out of me. It was like weird. Like his helmet went right in my stomach and I was like, oh, I can breathe. Uh, so yeah, I had to like take a play real quick to like get my breath back, but I'm good. Okay. I'm good. In the fourth quarter, I did notice that Desmond really was riled up on the sidelines. Yeah. How much do you guys feed off of that? Oh, I mean, big time. I mean, for him to come over to us and be like, you know, we're good. Like, don't, don't worry about it at all. Obviously, it gives us confidence. But then seeing his confidence at that high of a level, I think it's it gives us like a, a calm, a calm sense about ourselves, knowing that we can just go out there every single drive and just drive down the field and, and score, um, you know, like we did. But you know, for me, you know, looking at looking at the quarterback like that. Um, to see how confident he is for that, I mean, it, it, it really does give us so much energy as a whole offense. But so, you know, I appreciate Desmond for that. Bijan, what does it say about the culture of this team that you guys are able to play complimentary football? It's not always perfect, yeah. but you answer when it matters, whether it's on offense, defense, or even special teams. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's huge. Um, you know, the NFL games, you know, they might not always go your way, and you might get in some difficult situations sometimes, but I think it's like really how you come back from it uh, and like the halftime adjustments and seeing what we can do, you know, for the offense, for the defense coming out. Um, it, you know, if we do have slow starts, how to bounce back from those, but it all like ties into each other. And I think that, you know, us coming out there in the fourth quarter and, and us having a plan, obviously we were down um, to just go out there and just play our game, be physical, don't worry about nothing else. And that's what we did. And, you know, we, we got out with the win. You're down 24-12, but it's those three and outs that you kept getting on defense. How important was it for your defense to put the offense in position to get this done? I mean, shoot, I, you know, I can't thank defense enough. Uh, those guys have been balling. And, you know, for them to, to do what they did today and to bounce back from what they did, I mean, it, it, it speaks so much for them. And obviously in practice, you know, they practice hard. Uh, every, every single day, but you know, it just it just gives us so much confidence to know that you know if if we have a slow a slow drive, that the defense will you know get them in a three and out and get them in ways to get them off the field so we can go back out there and you know give our team an opportunity. But just seeing that from the defense, I think it's it's, it's super confident or super comforting to know that you know those dudes are always out there working hard so we can get back out there to, to try to score a touchdown. Arthur said he called that he threw the challenge flag largely just to act as a timeout so he could talk to some of the players <laughs> about what to do next. Were you one of the guys he was talking to there on the sideline? Uh, man, I was like so like just trying to get my my thought together. Uh, no, I was. I, I was were you on the field or were you on the side? I was on the field. Yeah, I was on the, the field. field so yeah, so I was just I was kind of just waiting to see what was going to happen. Um, but then you know what, whatever he tells them, then Desmond and then will just tell us in the huddle. Uh, okay. So yeah, I was just on the field, just ready to go back out there. Did it surprise you? Because obviously. You guys were in range for a field goal to take the lead, and yeah, there were still would have been what four or five minutes left. Or yeah, but, but were you surprised that he made that decision? Because if it backfires, the, it the fourth and one. Yeah. Nah, nah, I wasn't no. surprised. Um, I mean, we 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 worked so hard to to get in those situations, and you know, obviously, like for me as a young player, and he calls that, you know, it, I just got to tell myself like, come on, man, like, just just get the first down, man. I mean, this, this is what you work hard for. Um, so when he called it, I was like, all right, let's go. And the whole offense, the whole offensive line, too, they were like, we're going to get this first down. And so just hearing that confidence, that's what we did. Yeah, I was going to ask, what, 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 was the, what was the feeling in the huddle before? I mean, those dudes were like, we're about to get the first down. Like, they, they had no doubt in their mind that we weren't, we weren't going to get it. And hearing that from them, and then, you know, for me, I'm just like, yeah, we are going to get this first down. So, you know, when I saw those two defenders come, I knew, you know, I had to set that block up and then break that other tackle so we can, you know, try to close it out. Do you like to see that attitude from a head coach? Yeah, I do. I mean, it, it just shows that he has confidence in us and that he trusts us in those in those situations. Um, no matter what we're at, no matter what we're trying to do, you know, it, it gives us a lot of confidence moving forward for, for if we're ever in that situation again. How comforting is it for you to know that you can do in the NFL exactly what you did in college? I mean, it's like we're seeing the same guy. Uh, I mean, man, it's, it's a blessing, man. Um, obviously, you know, th this is a different level. And, you know, you, you got to get used to the speed, just like just like I started as a freshman in college. Um, I had to get used to the game, get used to the speed of the game, and see how defenders, you know, how they come, how they flow. So I had to do that in college. I had to do it in high school, you know, going from – freshman football to, to varsity. So I think it's the same thing. I mean, for me, this is my first time in the NFL and now seeing everything and when I get comfortable, just like you know I, I did in those other levels. And 
you know, when, I, when I'm at that level, then you know that that's when you know God gives gives us all the, the blessing to do what we do. Sparked you guys and maybe made you mad. What happened? What moment? Man, we. I mean, the whole time we felt like the momentum with us, you know, especially from the fans. You know, uh, it felt like the A. Uh, it felt like back in '99, you know. So uh, the big days, man. You know, that's all I remember, man. A lot of screaming and shouting going on, man. And we and we we ate off the energy and we fed into it. It was absolute a great day to be a part of it. What was your uh, reaction on the sideline when you saw that was going to go for it on fourth and inches? There? Man, go for it, man. Do what you want to do. Uh, you know, we got your back. Continue to grind, man. That's what it is. No matter what's going on, we always going to go with the coach. Did that sort of seem em emblematic of his personality? Definitely, definitely, man. We're going to follow the lead. Man. Anytime he want to do something, he makes great calls. Uh, we continue. He's, a, he's an offensive guru. So we're going to continue to trust him and continue to make sure that we fight for him. Jesse, huge win for you guys at the very end there. You guys take it down to the very last drive. What was the message that Coach Smith or maybe Ryan told you guys before you all went out there tonight? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a dog fight. Um, you know, every week, you know, coming off a win, a big win for us. Um, having a reset at practice, you know, that was our first time as a team, you know, going in, you know, having some success and then coming back. And then uh, throughout the game, you know, stuff wasn't going our way. Um, you, know, you know, a team going down, down 12 in the fourth quarter. That, a lot of times in this league, you see a lot of teams lay down and, and just call it quits. Um, but it says a lot about what we got in this locker room, um, about the coaches that we have. Um, and like I said, this was our first time facing some adversity as a team. Um, and I thought we responded really well. And this is a game that the last two years, some Falcons fans may be very well acquainted that this team would typically lose. You guys come out and win. I know it's your first year with the team, but can you talk a little bit about that change of culture? You mentioned it last week, and you mentioned it just a little bit just now, but what's it like to be a part of something like that? Yeah, um, you know, I've been saying it since uh, when I first signed here. I want to be part of something special, and, um, you know, we got special guys in here at every level. I always say at every level you got leaders. Um, and people that have experience and you know that that want to be you know winners um, and this city deserves to be winners so um, we're just excited like you said everybody's excited to be a part of something special um, you know the goal was to go one to know this week and we did that so we get 24 hours to celebrate and uh, we'll be back on uh, next week against Detroit on the road for the first time from your vantage point when the offense went for it on fourth and inches what was mm -hmm. going through your head yeah um, I wasn't really surprised, honestly. Um, you know, Art is very aggressive uh, when we get in those type of uh, situations. But, you know, that's what we do. Um, in the second half, that's when, you know, this team really steps up and uh, relies on our training that we've been, you know, putting in for, you know, what is it, eight weeks now, whatever it is, um, starting with training camp. So, like I said, it's a great win, great team win for us. Um, and we're going to celebrate tonight and uh, move on. John, John has spoken about how going against you in practice what was it like to see him have the kind of success he had today? Yeah, it's no surprise. Uh, you know, that dead leg that he that he got on him is, is crazy. Um, I'm just happy for him that he's been able to showcase that um, because I've, I'm able to see it every day in practice. I see him out there going to work, you know, uh, those Wednesdays and Thursday practices. I mean, nobody wants to really deep down, like, get down and get gritty on those practices, but that's what you got to do in this league. And for him, you know, being a rookie and him, Doing that in practice and then that translating over to the field um, is really good for him. Um, you know, just going to have to continue to do that. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm very happy to have him on my team. Justin, what does a game specifically like today, the way that you guys were able to storm back in the fourth, obviously offensively, but what does a game like today really say about this team? Yeah, um, like I said, you know, a lot of teams in this league, you know, they're facing a lot of adversity, uh, whether it's first, second quarter, uh, whatever it is. Uh, it, they could have laid down. We could have laid down easily, um, and I thought we did a really good job of responding. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of people. It's easy to talk about it, like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna face some adversity, you know, throughout the year, and uh, for us to go out there and do it uh, rather than you know talk about it, it was really special to see. How much did the crowd help you all down the stretch, especially um, in the end when you're able to get those stops? Yeah, um, you know, this city, you know, they're they're excited. They're excited when. You know, you got, you got th things going well, and, um, you know, they want to be involved. That's, I mean, this is a football type of city, and um, for them to, you know, everybody, the whole defense, you know, that last drive was throwing our hands up. Everybody get loud, and uh, like I said, we feed off that as a defense, as a team. Um, it's something that we're going to have to continue to do. Um, if we're going to be a great team, we got to have a great crowd and great home field advantage.